On day one on the job, Governor Andy Bashir made good on a big campaign promise. He reorganized the State Board of Education through an executive order. But now the board that he got rid of is suing him, saying he had no legal power to do so. And today, the former board members went to court asking for help. LAX 18's political reporter Carolina Buchek has that story. I reorganized the State Board of Education and appointed new members who support public education. Only a few hours into his term as governor, Andy Bashir made a big change to the Board of Education. These members were not chosen based on any partisan affiliation, but based on their commitment to make our schools better, to put our children first. That new board is supposed to meet for a special session tomorrow morning, where the agenda could include firing the current education commissioner, Wayne Lewis. But the former board members are fighting back. Today, their lawyer asked the court to issue an injunction to stop Bashir's executive order before the meeting happens. Their argument is that the law requires a reason to remove members from the Board of Education. It specifically says Boards of Education cannot be removed without cause in two places. But Bashir's lawyers say this is an issue that has already been resolved. When Bashir was attorney general, he sued then governor Matt Bevin for doing this exact thing, reorganizing boards. But the Supreme Court ruled in favor of Bevin, saying he had that power as governor. So Bashir's side is arguing that ruling makes it clear the governor can make these changes. The court makes clear if the governor's power includes the alteration or abolition of any organizational unit or administrative body, that necessarily means that members of the specific board that the governor has abolished may be removed from their positions. But the former board members argue that case was different because it didn't deal with cause. They say in order to remove them, there needs to be a valid reason. It does not say it's the governor's power. That case that they're relying on did not deal with a four cause issue. There are two statutes in this case that specifically state that you cannot fire a a board member off of the Board of Education without cause. The judge ruled against the injunction today, meaning the new Board of Education will meet tomorrow. In Frankfurt, Carolina Butchuk, LEXCT News.